Hey guys, so today we're going to do a Christmas look and this is inspired by one of my favorite subjects. That's right, food, because I am greedy. So first things first, we're going to start off by applying a base coat. I'm using gel in this tutorial and I'm going to cure this in an LED light. The one that I'm using will be listed below. But feel free to use whatever you have guys, you don't have to use gel and a lot of these techniques you can use with regular nail polish. So we're going to create a drippy nail and I'm basically just using the width of my brush to create each individual drip. This is our eggnog and hands down eggnog is my favorite thing to drink around the holidays. I've probably already gained like 5 pounds just from Thanksgiving alone. If you're using gel then you can cure that in your LED light and then apply a second coat or if you're using regular nail polish one was probably enough. I cured this layer in the light and then I'm just going to set that aside and move on to the next nail. So next I'm going to take a white gel polish and as you guys can see this is not Presto because I'm trying to branch off into other brands so that I have more options to show you guys. I applied one coat of this and then I'm going to cure that in the LED light. I actually applied a second coat as well and then I'm going to take a red gel and start by drawing a dot in the center of our nail. I'm then going to take the world's longest striping brush. This one is by Orly and I got it off of eBay because I believe it's discontinued now but I'm sure you can find it and I will list it down below. This is going to be our peppermint swirl nail so I'm basically starting at the center dot and then dragging the brush down and then to the left so that it curves at the end. We're going to do this all the way around the nail until you have a 360 design and I actually think that this looks better on shorter nails just because you know it looks more peppermint like uh, the long nails don't really do it justice but we'll work with what we got and lastly you're just gonna go back into your shapes and color every other one completely red if you're using gel you can cure that in your LED lamp and I would recommend applying a second coat as well Again, I'm gonna put that nail to the side and now I'm applying the second coat of gel to another nail. So into that wet paint that I have not cured, I'm swirling in some brown gel. Now in case you haven't guessed, this is our hot chocolate and the cool thing about this technique is that your colors will just automatically blend together. And if you have any excess space, then you can go in and apply more swirls. And if you have any areas that are still dark and have not completely blended, you can just work that with your brush like I'm doing here and cure that in your LED or UV light. Now the base of all of our nails are actually done, so now I'm gonna move on to the 3D elements and feel free to just completely ignore this step. I know that a lot of you guys were kind of interested in some more 3D looks, so uh, yeah, you see where I'm going with this. So basically I'm mixing my gel polish with this 3D powder and I've showed this to you guys in other videos before, um, but Essentially, I think that it's just kind of like acrylic powder and you know correct me if I'm wrong But if you guys don't have this product then maybe try using that and let me know how it works out because I'm really curious to know So anyway, I'm mixing this until it's really dry and I'm gonna tell you why in a second But for the other color, I'm gonna keep it relatively fluid and again I'll show you why in a sec for now We're just gonna set that aside and now we're gonna take a nail form now You don't actually need to use the nail form You can just use the paper that it comes on just make sure that it's on the smooth side You can also use aluminum foil or just a plastic bag if you don't have them Then we're gonna take our dry gel mixture and I'm actually rolling the handle from my brush over top of it To thin it out like batter just like a cookie and we're going to cut out the shape of our gingerbread man I'm then taking my palette knife and then just going around my score marks and then I'm taking a gel design brush This is like like a Kalinske pointed style brush and I'm just smoothing out my edges. After I cure this in my light, I'm going to go ahead and start to decorate it. So I'm taking some white gel polish that I've thinned down with clear gel just to make it a little bit more translucent and I'm going to draw on all of my embellishments. And you guys can take some freedom with this, you know, go crazy, do things that aren't supposed to be on your gingerbread cookies, but yeah, this guy was the inspiration for this entire nail look because I wanted to do an oh snap Christmas tutorial. Is that petty or no? As a matter of fact, you can do the um, Shrek gingerbread man and like break his legs or something, that'd be funny. Um, so I'm going to do my gumdrop buttons and to do this I basically just put a lot of product on my brush, I dab it off and then um, swirl around in a circle to break contact with the gel. Then I'm actually going to just dust over some of that 3D sculpting powder because I want these gumdrops to be matte um, like they are coated in sugar and then go ahead and cure that. So here is where the thinner mixture comes into play. You can use the same technique as I used for the gumdrop buttons, or you can actually just mix your gel polish with sculpting gel, which is hard gel, and you will get the same effect. I then took the same icing color from my gingerbread man, and I'm just putting some frosting on the chocolates. 
So you're gonna cure that and then I'm actually making some more cookies. I'm making a Christmas tree sugar cookie and I use the same technique of using a sculpting gel mixed with my gel polish. I sprinkled my 3D powder over the top just to give it that matte cookie look and then I'm going back in again with the same translucent frosting color. Of course you're gonna cure that and then I think that's it. So we've got all of our embellishments done and it's time to decorate some nails. So to adhere all of my 3D art, I'm using a sculpting gel or a hard gel, but if you have acrylic, you can also use that. Now, I wanted this tutorial to be fun, and I wanted to try something a little bit different, but if any of you guys are on the other side of the screen cussing me out right now, I just wanna say that you can try 3D nails without doing any of this. Instead of using gel or acrylic, you can actually use um, polymer clay and then adhere those to your nails after baking, or you can just draw these designs on your nails. You don't have to do anything 3D at all. Now here's the thing guys, I don't actually expect you to take all of my tutorials literally because that will be boring. If you want to try them out, that's great. But if you don't, that's fine too. Maybe you've just learned a new technique or found some inspiration and then you can apply that to what you want to do. So basically, we're learning together. A lot of the things I do on my channel, I'm trying for the first time, like these nails for instance. So even though there's a lot of 3D embellishments going on, I try to keep the designs underneath at every skill level. If you're a beginner, maybe you could try the eggnog drip nails. Or if you're a little bit intermediate, you can try the swirls. But don't put yourselves in a box. Try any and everything. I've never done nails like these before. So feel free to experiment. You might come up with something no one else has thought of before. So to finish all of my designs, I just went in with a gel top coat and we're done guys. The dishes are done. Oh, speaking of dishes, how cute is this plate sticky note? I am totally obsessed with stationery, you guys. Okay, I gotta go because I'm starving as usual, but first I want you guys to let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite nail because I love this hot cocoa one. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be posting a vegan hot chocolate on my blog on Monday. So if you guys are interested, make sure you follow the link down below and I'll see you in the next one.